This video will explain how to compare data of controls that display their information in a tabular form. When creating tests, you may need to verify the contents of tabular controls, such as tables, list views, or grids. And an easy way to do that is to compare the data that's actually displayed in your application with a baseline copy of that data. And TestComplete allows you to perform this kind of verification quickly and easily by using table checkpoints. Table checkpoints are used to verify the contents of tabular controls and what they do is they store their expected values of a table off inside your project and then compare those stored values to the live data in your application at runtime. And if TestComplete finds any discrepancies between the actual values and the expected values, then that information will be logged. In today's scenario, we'll use the Sample Orders application to learn how to create a table checkpoint. As you can see, this application is displaying a list of customer orders, and the checkpoint we're going to create will verify whether all the information currently shown in the grid is correct. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've already launched Test Complete, and I've created a new project and added the Orders application to the list of tested apps, as you can see right here. So now I'm going to create a test that will verify the data that's displayed in the orders application. So to start out, I'm going to click the record a new test button right here. And as you can see, test complete minimizes down to this very small recording toolbar. First thing I'm going to do here is expand the toolbar and have test complete automatically invoke my orders application by coming here to the run tested apps button. And so we'll launch the orders application. There it is. Okay. So now what I want to do is load up my customer data file. So to do that, I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to type in the path to my data file here, which is d colon backslash testdata.data.tbl, and we'll click Open. Okay, so now our customer data has been loaded, and I want to verify the contents of this grid. So to do that, I'm going to come up to the Checkpoint button here on my recording toolbar, and I'm going to select create table checkpoint. That launches this create table checkpoint wizard. On the first page of the wizard, I'm specifying the table element that the test engine will use for comparison. I can use an existing element here or create a new one. I'm going to select the retrieve data from object. That's going to create a new item for me. And then click next. Now I'm going to select the data now I'm going to select the table whose data will be verified by using this finder tool. And I'm just going to drag this finder tool right over that grid. Release the mouse. And Test Complete is going to capture a reference to that control. And you can see it right here. It's called Orders View. So now we click Next. Now on this page, I have the ability to specify how many records I want to store. For example, if we had a lot of data in this table and we only wanted to verify, say, the first 10 rows, we could check this box and then type in the number 10. Also, we have the ability to specify what columns in our table will be stored. You can see here we have a whole bunch of different columns in our table. I can pick and choose which of those columns I want to verify. For example, maybe I don't want to include the expiration date for my customer's credit cards. So I can uncheck that box and now that information will not be stored. So now we'll click Next. And on this last page, Test Complete is giving you the ability to review the data before it gets stored off. So all this information looks good. I'm going to click Finish. And now I'm going to close my orders application down and stop recording. And now Test Complete is going to take a moment and render those actions that I just performed as a keyword test. So now you can see the actions that Test Complete has generated for the test that we just created. Right here we invoke our orders application, then we click File Open, and here's where we're typing in the path for our customer data file. And there is our table checkpoint. One thing to note is that you can always add checkpoints after you've recorded your tests, simply by coming here to this checkpoints palette. Then you could select the table checkpoint operation and just drag it right onto your test case. Now if you want to review the information that's being verified by the checkpoint, you can just right click on the checkpoint and say go to checkpoints data editor. And that flips over and shows you exactly what values the checkpoint is verifying. Okay, so now that we've created our test, 
let's run it and we'll see that how the checkpoint is verifying our information. So I'm just going to flip back over to my keyword test here and I'm going to click the run test button. And now we're going to see test complete perform that same sequence of actions that we just recorded a moment ago. So we've launched the orders application, we are loading up our customer data file, we run our checkpoint, and then when the test is finished, test complete shows us the log file. And as you can see here, we've got a message telling us that our table checkpoint passed. But now, you may be wondering, what's it going to look like if that test fails, if the data is different? So to do that, I'm going to run my test again. But instead of opening this data file right here, I'm going to change this value to point to a different file that will have different data and thus force a failure. So I'm just going to double click on this value here to ed edit it. And I'm going to change this from test data slash data dot tbl to data two dot tbl. I'll click finish. I'm going to save my tests. And then we're going to run this again. Okay, I just fast forwarded a little bit here, and as you can see, our checkpoint failed, and if we select this error message inside our test log, we have a message down here in the remarks panel that tells us the customer name column of row 5 contains a value, Mark Twain, that's different from the stored one, Sam Clements. So at this point, we know exactly which value is different inside our test data, and now we could go and speak to whoever maintains our data files and find out exactly why this information was different. So I've demonstrated how you can verify tabular controls from keyword tests. And as you've seen, inside of a keyword test you get this special table checkpoint operation. But you may be wondering how to perform this type of checkpoint in script. So to perform the comparison from script, let's go ahead and expand out to my scripting note here, you can see that test complete has this special method called check that you can see right here on line 9. And when you create a checkpoint during script recording, Test Complete automatically adds this type of code to your tests. And just like what you saw me do with the keyword test, you can insert table checkpoints after the recording process is done uh, with a script based test. All you need to do is come over here this, to this drop down, select Create Table Checkpoint. You know, walk through the exact same wizard that we went through earlier to verify the data. And when you finish, Test Complete puts this code onto the clipboard. And so all you have to do is copy this and then paste it into your test case. This concludes our video on creating table checkpoints with Test Complete. With Test Complete, you can also create checkpoints to verify the contents of database tables. To learn how to do this, see our video lesson, Database Table Checkpoints. Now, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at sales at automatedqa.com or support at automatedqa.com. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy automating your tests with Test Complete.